Hey guys, welcome into another video. Today we're jumping into a requested video on the Ranger Journals in Return to Moria. So if you do like this content, please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more like it. So Ranger Journals, what are they and what do they do? As you progress around Moria, you will find these rolled up sheets of paper and they will tell you that they're Ranger Journals. There are five areas in which you can collect different Ranger pages. So don't get them mixed up because they will only work in one specific book that they are supposed to. And you will find them around fires, in random corners, in corridors, pretty much anywhere in a specific area around that Ranger journal. Now, I recommend because upon doing this video, I decided to try and find all the Ranger uh, stations, the ranger areas, ranger camps, um, and yeah, I struggle to find them. So, if you can leave a waypoint, you can drop a marker uh, on your map, which means you'll be able to get back to it at any point. That is definitely my uh, my top tip. First one you'll find is in the mines of Moria. Now you need to be careful with this one because you will be going up and down as it is a very vertical space. Once you do find it, of course, drop that little uh, marker on your map, but you will also need to find five pages. And upon finding these five pages, you will be able to get the Hop Goblet Lager. Second you'll find is in the lower deeps. This will not be in any of the major hub areas, but it will be just off of the beaten path. If you're quite lucky, like mine, you'll find it straight away. But if not, it will only take a couple of different areas to go to before you find it. Most of the pages in this area will be in the hub. So definitely do have a look around there. Don't worry about the drain pump. Uh, there will not be any in there. But they will be primarily around the main other hub. You will need six pages and then you will receive the Orcish Medicine. Third is in the Eastern Bastion. If you've seen the dragon, uh, you will know what area this is. Continue following where the dragon went and you will see it down in a little cubby hole, as we may say. It will always be here. This will never change in any of the spawns, so it's quite easy to find. All of the pages will be in the close rooms to it. If you're like me, you'll be very, very lucky and receive most of them around by the bridge. You will need four pages and you will get the Iron Heart Stout. The fourth is in Dwarald Elf. Now, this one is probably one of the harder ones to find. There is a lot of shadows that can get you in this area. So make sure you have enough wood to be able to get to it. Again, all of the pages will primarily be in the same area or in Dweradelf itself. You'll need six pages and you get the Dawnbreaker Pale Ale. Final one is in the Crossroads. This one you'll find will always be in the same location. So pretty much make your way through and you cannot miss it. Again, the pages will be in the close proximity to it and you will need four pages in which you will receive the Miravore. I hope this guide to the range pages has helped you and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and I will aim to answer back to them. But until then guys, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Vertically traversal area. The f*** did that mean? <laughs>